Good evening all. This is uh, my attempt at the potato peel challenge. Now before we start, this is the bin I put, I put a video of about four days ago where I just added cardboard and nothing else. I didn't even dig the cardboard in. And as you saw there, it was 45 degrees. So it's held 45 degrees for the last four days, which means the bin's back up and cooking again, which is quite good. I've just thrown some more cardboard on top. Now this is the big green rectangular worm bin. The challenge gave me the idea of looking for a potato peel that had um, sprouted in one of the worm bins. Um, so I just came up to have a look and then I thought I'd have a quick check in the bin anyhow. And as you can see the worms are doing quite well, they're very near the surface. Now this bin got as neglected as the other worm bins and uh, I found a whole uh, container of skanky food which I just um, threw in. And I was curious to see how they would get on with that I wasn't sure if they would avoid it or start to move out of the bin but as you can see they seem to be very happy with it so I came up here to look for a potato peel like I said that had sprouted and the irony of ironies is every single time I go to these big bins I find sprouted potato peels which I pull up out and break up and throw back into the bin and now I'm actually looking for one I can't find one so there's one there, which is the only one I've seen. I'm just going to try and get my hand down underneath that and see if I can pull it up with the potato peel attached. Now I know this isn't going to be part of the competition, but I thought I'd plant this separately alongside it, alongside the pot with the competition entrance in it and see how it gets on. But it didn't quite work as you can see because I, I didn't go down far enough and broke the um, broke the peel off but you can see the little root bits there that may may have grown but I'll just break it up and throw it back in the bin I'm going to have a look at the Dalek bin and see if I can find anything in there Sorry, I'm just completely distracted with the worms now at this stage. I know this is the potato peel challenge, but I'm getting there. Hold on. And you'll also see how I completely messed it up. So, just give it a couple of minutes. Because this is a proper do video. It really is. And, you know, this is the Dalek worm bin. You can see they finished off most of the stuff on the top because, like I said these bins haven't been fed regularly but I thought it was interesting the, there's a thick layer of cardboard on top of the rectangular green bin most of the worms are at the surface but they have got a bit of food um, the worms are much deeper down in this bin and that may just be the cold as well because relatively to relative to the numbers of worms in this bin there is actually plenty of food in there for them and there I've just found a peel that sprouted so I'm going to take this one out and I'll plant this separate to the competition entrance now this is it these are charlottes seed potatoes so you'll see where I completely messed this up because I came late to this challenge um, wasn't 100% sure of the rules and I was very confused about why as you'll see in a minute you would plant two peelings from two separate um, potatoes in the same pot so after I made this video and after I had set the thing up I went back and actually watched the videos properly <laughs> and I realized the mistake but you'll see what an idiot I've been here so anyhow that's the pot with the um, compost in it it's just ordinary compost with a bit of my own vermicompost mixed in And this is the shop bought potato. I've no idea what it is. Sains Briticus Potaticus or something like that. So my understanding was that you have to avoid the eyes. You can't take a really obvious eye off the potato because that will 
sprout and then you um, take a thin peel which is what I'm trying to do here that looks similar to what I've seen in the other videos now this is the Charlotte first early so I'm just going to take a peel off that stay tuned there's a priceless piece of idiocy coming up So there's the two peels, one's Sainsbury's Potaticus and the other a Charlotte First Early. Going into the same pot, because for some unknown reason, that's what I thought you guys were doing. So, and then I was wondering to myself, what are you supposed to do? Once, uh, is, the, is the idea that once, the, you know, it starts to break the surface, you repot them into separate plants into some separate pots so yeah um and here's my absolute bit of brilliance because uh, i was thinking to myself how are you supposed to know <laughs> which is which so i thought very cleverly that i'll put a little nick in the side of the pot which has the sainsbrucus potaticus on it oh my god okay Anyhow, and now I realise it's supposed to be two peelings from the same potato in two separate pots. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'll dig out one of those peels. And I still have the two potatoes I took the peelings from. So they'll be the same potato and I'll just add in a second peel into each pot. And rectify the error. So... Anyhow, I've just thrown some um, vermicompost on top of the peels, as you can see. And when I was doing that, actually, the fistful of vermicompost I took out, I found some very small worms and some cocoons. There's a little cocoon. Now, that guy is ready to hatch because the darker the colour of the cocoon, the nearer it is to hatching. So there'll probably be, there's probably quite a lot of cocoons in here. So there'll probably be quite a few worms in one of these pots. And th there's some more I found. Now you can see the different shades there. The one on the sort of top left as you look is a sort of an in-between colour. Between the one underneath which is quite uh, lemony. Which is fairly fresh. And the one um, on the sort of top right there which is very dark brown, chocolatey brown. Which is written very nearly ready to hatch. So anyhow, just to end off, this is the uh, one that came out of the compost pile. I'm just going to put this into some vermicompost into this green pot and see what happens to that guy. Um, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I can't believe I was so stupid as to put two, the peel from two different potatoes into the same pot. And actually thought that. But, and I was thinking, well, that's quite a good challenge, actually. So maybe that is what the challenge is. Lesson learned. Watch the videos properly and listen. So I'll, I'll rectify the error tomorrow and uh, carry on with the challenge. Well, So that's my entry into the... Um, potato peel challenge like i say thanks for watching and uh, i'm sure i'll catch you all later with another video and a, a bit of an update and that's it for now take care bye bye